What's up guys, this is Callum from Wizard Tricks. Hope you guys are excited about this upcoming brilliant event. It does start tomorrow, so hopefully, uh, well by the time you're seeing this, it will have started. Uh, so hopefully you've gotten through the first task, but I'm gonna be going through everything you do need to know for the brilliant event coming up, uh, starting on the 22nd of October. Uh, really excited about this one. There's a lot of really cool stuff, plus a bonus assignment for everyone who completes all four tasks. It's a big one, you gotta find out what this is. So stick, stay tuned to the end, that's what I'm gonna be covering last. Uh, so let's dive right in. So number one, let's go through all of what you're gonna be seeing in the wild as well as what things you have to do to complete your registry page. Uh, we're gonna dive into that, but I will say remember, all of the things that you saw in the wild uh, for the first brilliant one, you are going to be able to also find um, during this brilliant event as well. So the Death Eater as well as the Scapee, you will find those in the wild um, during this brilliant event as well. Um, the other one that you're gonna see a lot of is uh, Sirius Black, that is an encounter that you are going to need um, to find for your registry page uh, and you're going to need 12 of those and you are going to have to save Sirius from a Dementor. So that is an Expectum Patronum um, spell and uh, that is the only one actually that you're going to find in the encounter. So Sirius Black plus the two others from the first one are what you're going to find in the wild for uh, brilliant foundables. You definitely gonna want to get as many as you possibly can and rank up and get those spell books. Um, not spell books, actually, those scrolls uh, and rune stones. Those are always really helpful. So definitely stack up as many of those as you possibly can. So the next grouping is the Troll Lake Umbrella Stand. Kind of funny looking, but uh, you'll need one of those and that's from the event tasks. And then uh, there is Creature you're gonna be able to find as well. I wish that was actually an encounter. I'm really bummed it's not an encounter, but it is uh, one that you also get for an event from an event task. And then the Phoenix uh, Patronus, which is also really cool look looking. It's really a shame you can't get that one either uh, from an encounter, because that would be such a cool encounter. Um, but that one is also from an event task. And then you're gonna get the uh, portrait of um, Phineas. Uh, I don't know who that is. I should find out who that is. Um, and then that one you actually get through the three port keys, uh, three kilometer port keys. Really glad that they are going to be doing three kilometer port keys. And then the Order of the Phoenix for, um, photograph, which is the original photograph from the Order of the Phoenix, uh, the one that has Harry Parents in it, um, the one that they use in the book uh, and they talk about in the movies as well. Uh, it's that photograph. And you are going to need your rune stones and complete those wizarding challenges to get that one. Um, and you will need three of those. Um, so that is how you complete your registry page inside of the Brilliant Event. Uh, so hopefully that helps. If you have any questions about that, definitely drop a comment. Be happy to answer. All right, so Phineas Nigellus Black is, I totally forgot, but now that I read it, uh, totally remember this, uh, but it is part, he's obviously part of the Black family. He was a Slytherin student and he actually ended up being one of the headmasters of Hogwarts. So that is Phineas Nigellus. Okay, so now let's get into what the complimentary gift is. Now I'm super excited, we do get spell books. We get one more spell book um, for the complimentary gift as well as 15 energy. The 15 energy is great, but most importantly we do get one spell book. And beggars can't be choosers like I said in the past. I wish it was more than one, but one is better than none. So, uh, so we at least get, like I said, one. I think we should be happy about that, that they're even including it. Uh, we are gonna get into the different tasks and the reward for that, which we are gonna get more spell books. So in total, I believe we're gonna end up being able to get six spell books, I believe. We'll be able to get six total spell books from this, uh, this grouping of tasks, which is a really big deal uh, that we get six in total if you finish everything. So definitely complete all of your tasks. Okay, so let's dive in to task one of one. Uh, one of one, you are gonna need to dine at two ends, no problem. Brew six potions, that's a big one. You're gonna wanna do healing potions and a, um, the basic Estimulo potion to get those out of the way. Um, and then three oddity fan, um, family foundables. Now, I did think that the oddity family found, the oddity foundables that we were gonna be able to get uh, from the Brilliant Event would count towards that, but they don't. They have to be, they can't be Brilliant Event foundable, oddity foundables. Um, they have to be straight oddities foundables. But remember, a Trace of Tonic Potions, they will pretty much primarily spawn oddities. So if you're having trouble finding them, just put on a tonic of trace detection and you should find some oddities. Uh, so then the rewards are going to be 500 XP, two um, restricted books, one spell book, uh, and some potion ingredients, which is not a big deal. Um, and then 
the task two of four is going to be recover three um, brilliant series black foundables. I do imagine that these are going to take a fair bit of energy to get, which is um, which is not a great thing. Um, but you should be able to find three fairly easily. Uh, you're going to need to use five simulo potions. So back to the first one. I would definitely recommend the Simulo Potion. They, it's also easier to get the ingredients for the basic Simulo Potion, so that's what I would recommend for that. So the next one would be attain two port keys by unlocking uh, by unlocking them. So you are gonna need to do those three kilometer port keys on that one, so definitely try to get those. What you're gonna get from that is two potent Simulo Potions, some uh, Hogwarts Family Foundables, three restricted section books, one, uh, one spell book and of course creature is part of this one as well so task three of four is going to be use a tonic trace of the uh, to tonic four trace detection um, times two so you're gonna need two of those so brew those up and then you're also gonna need to return six oddity family foundables and defeat nine foes and wizarding challenges that shouldn't be that big of a deal the one um, the standard tower levels I get four anyway so basically you're gonna need to defeat two to three maybe four um, challenges that shouldn't be too bad and for that you're gonna receive three restricted section books one spell book a silver key which is a big thing plus uh, the the troll uh, umbrella stand or whatever that's kind of it's kind of weird but whatever we're going with it um, so moving on to test four of four you're gonna need to perform 15 great spell um, spell cast that shouldn't be too bad uh, and then use potent assimilo potions five times that's a lot um, so save the at least the two that you have save those up um, for your potent ones that's pretty difficult um, and hopefully people can finish that actually that's probably one of the more challenging ones plus unlocking four brilliant port keys that's actually a pretty tough task list um, but you will receive 50 golden coins five restricted section books one spell book and the phoenix um that is actually overall pretty difficult task list much more challenging than we saw on the first round uh which maybe they're gonna make round one pretty easy and then round two pretty difficult but i would say that's actually pretty tough because getting the unicorn hair for the potent assimilo potions isn't exactly easy so you're gonna have to brew at least three of those uh, and a lot of people a lot of casual players don't necessarily just have a lot of potent assimilo potions hanging around or a bunch of unicorn hair hanging around uh, so hopefully that they're gonna be able to get those from port keys hopefully the unicorn hair is gonna be easier to get um, so that people can actually complete these now, if you are able to complete them, there is a bonus task, which I love this idea. If you complete all the tasks, you get a bonus task, which basically means it's task five. So they're basically adding something extra in there, but it's a really good one and really rewarding. And um, in fact, it actually will give you some uh, an actual event achievement, which is so cool. They actually give you a badge. And I love this aspect. They do this in Ingress um, a fair bit, but they don't do it necessarily in Pokemon Go for the community days or the different events going on. But I really love that you can actually earn an achievement or a badge icon uh, for completing the brilliant event so to get this you have to of course complete the first four achievements and then you need to return 20 brilliant death eaters so that's a bunch return 25 oddity family foundables and you're gonna receive a a specific um, line I forget exactly what they call but it's a title you get a specific title and then complete uh, 10 wizarding challenges and you get a death eater I guess costume I think for the ministry ID uh, and then the item the actual rewards that you get for completing all of it is a thousand XP a hundred billion event event XP so that basically ends up being at least eight scrolls which is good and two rune stones uh, another spell book and then the actual badge for completing all the challenges. Now, like I said, completing all those is pretty tough, so hopefully everyone can get through them, but if you do, Niantic and WB are gonna reward you with some really awesome stuff. In fact, some of my favorite rewards for the entire um, time they've been having these brilliant events. So definitely work on completing those. Hopefully that helps you. Uh, I would definitely recommend trying to store, get those, walk those port keys, try to get as much unicorn hair as you possibly can so you can brew the potents and stage, use your, uh, your port keys really strategically. Save up your silver keys. You do get a silver key from your task list. So make sure to save the silver key key for when you have to do your 
port key event um, tasks um, so that you can actually use a port key and walk the same distance. Um, so that's my suggestion, some of my tips for being able to complete all this. I hope everyone does. Let me know what you guys think about these tasks as well as the rewards for these tasks in the comment description. And definitely smash that like button for this brilliant event. And of course, subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate everyone watching. So thanks for hanging out with me. Kick some booty on the, or kick some, some Death Eater booty uh, on this brilliant event. And I will see you guys next time.